This is Jessica Ann Faber. She sang before she spoke. She loved to entertain from the moment she could speak. Singing, acting, dancing, and movies were her greatest passions. The performing arts helped her to develop and become the amazing person she was. Jessica holds a special place in my heart as she was one of my daughter's best friends. And when we say she was amazing, that doesn't even begin to scratch the surface. The Jessica Ann Faber Foundation was born out of tragedy, but has the potential to turn tragedy into opportunity. So Cindy, tell us why you started the Jessica Ann Faber Foundation. Thank you, Jen. Um, I did this to memorialize Jessica. Um, on December 29th of 2009, she was driving home from Southern California after her first semester in college and was hit by a wrong way driver under the influence of alcohol and drugs. Now he actually got on the freeway going the wrong direction, correct? And he was from that area. And uh, he killed her. So to, to take this tragedy and, and um, make something better of it than just living in anger. Jessica was an amazing young woman and she changed the life of just about everyone that knew her. Mm -hmm. And Jessica's greatest passion was the arts. She was talented. She loved every form of art, the fine arts, particularly the performing arts mm -hmm. and music and dance. And I saw Jessica perform many, many times through her life and she performed with my daughter and with her sister and um, she, was, she was truly, truly talented and, a, and an amazing, amazing girl. And because of her passion for that, I wanted to be able to help others with the same passion and help young artists everywhere to be able to pursue their um, artistic potential. Because not everybody's family can afford to provide that for them. Exactly. And that's, um, that's an amazing thing because when a child has that gift and that's what they want to do, it's wonderful for a foundation such as yours to be able to help with that financially when the parents can't provide that. And it will help them to succeed the as well. The arts change people's lives. It does. It does. It really does. So what's your mission with the Jessica Ann Faber Foundation? We, we, um, we know that it's to memorialize Jessica and um, certainly to give other kids the opportunity to experience all the things that she experienced. So what, is, what types of things are you working on? Well, we provide classes, uh, tuition for classes for students, uh, attire, materials, instruments, whatever it is they might need. According Any types of classes, dance, music? Pretty much all the arts and um, we want to be able to just give them what they need and help them succeed. So if somebody knows a child out there who wants to be in the arts and has a, a dream to take dance classes or drawing classes or painting classes or whatever it might be, how do they get help from your foundation? Well, they go on to our website, which is www.jessicaannfaberfoundation.org long one <laughs> um, and uh, there is a tab on our website called our program and we have what's called a benevolence assistance program and it's basically monies that um, help them they will answer questions on this application and we seek to help them wherever they need it so it's very individual okay so we know how we help the children and do you have an age range of children that you help? No, um, we don't. As a matter of fact, this last year we were able to fund uh, a vocal student, a young girl, um, also a younger boy who's very passionate about dance. In fact, I think you know him. Um, and a college student who is actually a French major, but she's had an opportunity to travel abroad to France. And her she's a dance minor, so she ten, intends to seek out dancing while she's there. So we helped her too. And that was, it just feels so good. I can only imagine, because I do actually know the young boy that you're helping, and um, a little bit different story than Jessica's. His father actually passed away, and that's why his family needs the financial assistance. But his father was an amazing, talented man as well. He's talented, and I'm so excited to see him be able to continue on with his passion, mm -hmm. um, even through his pain. 
with your help. So I yes. can certainly see how that can bring a lot of joy and meaning to you and to the foundation. So what can the community do to help? This is a new foundation. Right. And, and, you know, <laughs> when you start something new, it takes time and you need a lot of help. So what can we do to help the foundation? Well, we are a, a 501c3 nonprofit organization, so we rely completely on, on um, donations mm -hmm. and uh, sponsorship. So you can donate, <laughs> uh, go to their website and do it through there. Um, also, uh, volunteer yeah. and help out. Um, we have a lot of needs, and as we grow, mm -hmm. I'm not able to do it all. So what one of my... Uh, strong feelings is that when somebody loves something mm -hmm. and they have a passion for it, it's not work. It's, it's fun and it feels good to help out. And it's amazing when you bring together like-minded people in a community for the same passion, what can happen? And that's what I'm looking for, are people like that who have the passion for yeah. arts and they understand the benefit of arts education and want to help provide that to art students in our community. And that's what we're about. That's right. Together, we are strong. Amen. <laughs> so volunteers, you probably need some outstanding board members. Um, yep. You've got big events that you do that you can use help with coordinating. Um, raffle prizes, donation prizes, all types of things. Social ways. media, that's one of my Yeah, ways. there's a million ways you all can help, so that's right. great. Now you do have your biggest event of the year coming up, and last year you were able to raise the money that funded these three exactly. children that you're talking about, yeah. and that's coming up right around the corner. And mm -hmm. we're actually gonna talk a lot about that event here today on the show as well. Great. But would you like to say anything before I go um, there? I would. Uh, a man named Bill Weiser was Jessica's vocal coach, and she started with him when she was four years old. And he was with her her whole life, uh, teaching her, helping her to sing, and they just had so much fun together. And The arts impact on children is incredible because we have so many students that, that don't have anything in life. And um, they come into my studio, and it's one of the greatest things to be able to work with kids and see a bright sparkle happen in their eyes, and they discover, wow, I actually have something I can offer to myself or to the an audience because I always work with them and say who are you singing for you are the audience and they always look at me and go well, I guess I'm singing for an audience well yes and that's what gets them going they decide I can do this you know and I've had a lot of kids like Jessica when we started her she was four and um, I worked with her for uh, 14 years and it was really cool because she would come in so bubbly every time just bouncing in there and and she was so focused and she just really concentrate on, on everything I was saying. In fact, her mother would stand behind her and feed her the words at one point and they'd come out her mouth at the same time. It was the most incredible thing. So, so I get to watch them and, and we put her in some of our shows that we were doing at ICDA. And I remember the one song she got to sing as a newspaper kid. And, and it went, and she would sing it, and then part of it was boing, 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 and she would love to do that part of the song. <laughs> and it was just a great thing. He happens to be also the director of the Reno Silver Dollar Chorus, Hello. and they are who produced this show for us. Aww. It was Bill's passion to do a show for his chorus, and then he decided, let's benefit the Jessica Ann Faber Foundation too. So he has a heart for Jessica's uh, mission as well, because he knew her. And uh, so because of him, the Reno Silver Dollar Chorus is, is doing this great show called Reno Sings Under the Stars. Right here at the Bartley Right Ranch. here at this beautiful venue. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is our second year, and uh, it was very successful last year. In addition to that, we held a silent auction, and it was fantastic. The community donated awesome gifts. We made some money, and it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. So I met a lot of great people and we're looking forward to it again this year. Yep, it's coming up soon, and Mr. Bill, as my daughter calls him, uh -huh. he was also her vocal coach, Mr. and if Bill. anyone out there is looking for a great vocal coach, I think Cindy and I are highly going to recommend That's right. him. That's right, he's the best. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, and then we're gonna come back with two of the men that are helping put on this great event, and we're gonna talk about all the people performing and everything that's gonna happen here at Bartley Ranch in the very near future. Thank you very much Thank for being you. here and sharing your story. Thanks, Jennifer.